Banagi and Marshasu Aharja Bahanya Oran Nashantan Heran Oran Navian. obstruction and the owner is asked to take steps to remove it immediately. Okay, so the intermediate final is underway. Referee Jimmy McKee throws the ball up between the two teams, Kerry Kruppen, South Arbaugh and Clown Earl of Lurgan. So away we go. Strong run that by David Kelly of Clan Earth. Out towards Ryan Henderson. To number 15, Daniel Shanks, and he sends wide at the right hand post. Lucky. Referee Jimmy McKee, of course, from Pierce Oaks. Jack Kruppel beating Madden, semi final, they beat Wolf Tones. Clan Earn, of course, beating Portmore in the semi final uh, on their way to this final. Kruppel managed by Peter Lahern and Paul Carroll and Bernard Evans involved. Down below, Tommy Coleman involved with Clan Earn. Player gave great service to Arbaugh and to Clan Earn over the years. Of course, Peter Lahern, no stranger to Arbaugh fans. It's a great, great catch. Number 13, Paul Keenan on the ball. Oh, hit pretty hard. Ball sent down to him by Brian O'Hanlon. And of course, the minute silence there for uh, the passing of Father Paul McShawn from the Kilcloody Parish, passed away this week. The founder of the Puck Fanna gave great service over the years, passed away and very, very badly missed, and fondly remembered by all within Mid Armagh and the county as a whole. Father McShawn. He passed away this week, but it's thought that was a free actually, but referee uh, Jimmy McKees gives the free this time. Clan Earl number four, I think Noel Finnegan. Going to the ground, or uh, Gary O'Carroll, I should say. Number five, Mick McCluskey. So, we're in the early stages of this game. Number 10 on the ball for Clan Earl to James Byrne. James, of course, on the, the county panel for several years. And he sends a second one wide. So two wides for Clan Earl. Kate Locker down below us, chairperson of the Kruppen Club. Carrick Kruppen 20 years ago, they were, of course, top of the top of the list with regards to senior teams winning three, maybe two or three senior championships in the late 70s and 80s. Here they are in the intermediate final. Great jump and leap that time by Peter, Car uh, Peter Quinn 
fantastic catch. Peter, uh, I should say David Kelly and Dermot McCluskey loses out. Number 10 for Crubbin. Paul Keenan trying to get his team moving. Hard tackle comes in. Those are full back. Mickey Beatty. Referee Jimmy McKee gives the free. So an early chance. Number 10, no oh, blasted wide. Paul Keenan told that he's where the number 10. Had a chance there, but decided way to the right hand post. <laughs> so, ball back down. Clanner on the trying to make in roads. Number eight, but found that time. Referee says play on. Still in play. Drop and move the ball quickly into from defence into attack. Ryan or uh, Jared Morgan, early touch for him. Now the ball is Peter Lahern, of course, the son of the great Peter, himself a great free kick taker. The difficult free kick kicking from the right hand side, about 30 metres out, would favour a left footer. Up comes Peter Lahern, strikes it, strikes it well, but it goes wide up the right of the left hand post. So, a couple of chances each way, early stages of the intermediate final. Winners will receive the famous Oddie Hardy Cup, won last year by Kieran Oog of Portadown, who are also still in there with all to take part in the senior championship. We'll play Pierce Oogs in the next round, whatever that will be, sometime after the All-Ireland. So back, come, wake up, Clan Ireland, trying to move the ball, always playing it. Lurgan teams like to play it close and sharp, that's good football. Ryan Henderson doing really well. Dangerous on the ball, takes his time, left foot strike on a great point, great score. From about 30 metres out, did well, controlled it, got onto his left foot and drove over. Score coming after about five minutes. So, where we go again. Kerry Kruppen's keeper is Stephen Hubbard. Stephen drives it out. Number 10, uh, Paul Keenan, getting a few good early touches. Land very deep in the middle is David McCluskey of Clan Early, probably coming out to play a third midfielder. Gets it to James Byrne. Oh, and Henderson's got away from his marker, and if he gets it across, we've got a goal situation here. Oh, brilliant goal. Absolutely brilliant goal. Byrne was involved out to Henderson. Steamy in was, uh, I think, the left half forward. Possibly Mark McCall. Yep, number 12. Put his hand up, ran into the square, and backs it to the net. So, first score for Kyle Earl, a goal. Just like in the intermediate final, Great Moore's first goal, first score was a goal. So, sorry, second score. Yes, Clan Earl, a point. Sorry about that. Getting that, that point from Henderson. So, great catch. 1-1 one, one to Clan Earl. Heavy tackle that time by David Kelly. Away come Cropping, 15. Brian O'Hanlon making inroads, goes for the score. Ah, oh, brilliant score. 15, yes, very well taken. 1-1 one, one to one point. The game's starting to open up. Hello. Game's starting to open up. That was a good score by Brad O'Hanlon from a difficult angle. Clowner going on a point. Car Kruppen, one point. Away we go again, down towards the midfield. Half back on strong in defence, well played that time by uh, Barry Lohard. A good catch, left half back, Clowner and Gary O'Carroll to his corner back, who knows very well, Eugene McConville. 
on Clara and work it out. That's a bad ball, dangerous ball. Down towards the midfield, several players come onto it. Strong and well done that time, Damien Hummel. Strikes out to the left half forward. A oh, great block down. Free for Clowder. Two full forwards. One of them is, of course, Henderson. Back goes the corner back. Noel Finnegan does well. Works the ball out. Dropping back of the attack. Good tackling back. Still in the attack of Cropper, John McCauley, the left centre half forward to his midfielder, Peter Quinn, to his other midfielder. Referee Jimmy McKee letting the game go and then the blast white. Right, Peter Quinn should have done better that time. Disappointed by that. Clan Earl will play with two full forwards. Their 14 has come way, way out in, the mid, in around the midfield. In fact, he's actually playing sort of a left half forward position. There's been quite a few positional changes in the, the Lurgan men's outfit. So, kick out for Krupp and Stephen Havard and goals for Clan Earl is Paul Cassidy. <laughs> Drop kick way up the lane but out over the sideline. Space hard to find in the opening stages. The referee Jimmy McKee calls for assistance. We have a midfielder injured. Peter Lohard will warm up, number 25 for Cruppen. Don't have any substitutes for Cruppen at the time of print, unfortunately. But we're not sure. We'll have to try and get information from down on the ground. Left full back to take it, Noel Finnegan. Up he comes. Just down around the midfield. This is the full back. Sean Collins drives long over the heads. Brian O'Hanlon still on the ball, O'Hanlon, tricky player, good player, you go for the overlap. Well, this is good play, Peter Lahard on the ball, dangerous. Of course, dangerous, away he goes. He might even go for the left side, Lennon. Went for the difficult score, went for the big one. So the clan are in defence had come round him, so... Paul Cassidy to strike. Up he comes. Good kick down to the midfield. Number nine doing well. David Kelly for, for Clown Earl. As a way they get the ball moving to James Byrne. Allow the Lurgan men turn at the Cruppen defence. And this is a good run and he could take a score. But well, well wide. Number 15. Damien, sorry, Daniel Shanks. A good run. Steadied up, but well way to the left hand post. So Clowner ahead still by that goal. But the early goal with it hit the net. They all go up. Still the Lurgan man on the ball. Connor Bell does well. Goes for the return. Good defending. By Cruppen, the way they come, the red and white from Carrick Cruppen. Of course, the orange and white of Clown Earl, but it's Cruppen on the attack. And the big score coming, wide again, early chances. Chances being missed, being these early stages. Cruppen captain by Keith Quigley from right half back. Clown Earl, capped by Mark Biddy from midfield. Up we go again. Again it goes loose.
ball goes out over the right hand side. So, not the last of Noel Finnegan. Henderson trying to get ahead of him. Tricky corner forward, he does well. Finnegan shepherds him out over the line. Stephen Hubbard drives out. Krupp and Bell are on at first. Midfielder, Damian Hubble, strong run. Six help from Paul Keelan. Number eight, Captain Mark Beatty. Sends it long. Noel Finnegan must win this one. Finnegan does well. And Krupp and work it out. Free coming there. Then towards the full forward line. Or the half forward line and trying to make inroads this. This Tigerish caller in defence. Gail the low ball. Always difficult to mark against. Full backs up. Tries to find as much well done by Sean Collins and free for Crubble and this should be. A chance. Yes. <laughs> Carrick Kruppel, number 10, Paul Keelan. Sends over. And score an ish, clan earn, cool a wine, I guess cooling a wine. Carrick Ruppin, Ga Cooling. The score, Clanarn, one goal and one point. Carrick Ruppin, one point. We apologise that the electronic scoreboard, sorry, Clanarn, one goal and one point. Carrick Ruppin, two points. And Carrick Kruppel making the change, number 19 on for Noel Finnegan, so to keep his eye on the tricky corner forward Henderson, change been made there by Peter Loughran and Paul